Welcome everyone, here's how you connect your disabled iPhone to the computer. It doesn't matter if you see try again in 15 minutes, one hour, or you see connect to iTunes, the steps for this video will 100% work. For Windows users only, you will need to download iTunes, you can see apple.com forward slash iTunes. Scroll all the way down, find here looking for other versions, click on Windows, then click on download iTunes for Windows Now 64 bits. After you download iTunes, you must restart your computer, otherwise uh, iTunes may not recognize your iPhone. Now I'm going to move to another camera, so I'll show you what to do on the iPhone itself. The next step is you want to connect your iPhone to your computer. Now my iPhone charging cable is USB-A, but my computer is USB-C. So what I've done is I bought an adapter which converts USB-A into USB-C. If you need to buy an adapter, then buy one for the connection. Now the iPhone itself can be placed into recovery mode. Depending on the model of iPhone you own, the process is going to be different. So I'm going to start off with an iPhone which does not have a home button. So I'll show you how to enter into recovery mode as most iPhones now use this. So if you have iPhone 8 or newer, you're going to do the following key combination. Click and release volume up, click and release volume down then click and hold the power button and keep on holding until you're into recovery mode. So let's do this together. Three, two, one, click volume up, click volume down, press on the power button, keep this one held down, do not release, okay? You must keep this held down until you're brought into recovery mode. So you're gonna see the screen is going to go black. Just keep on holding the power button, do not release, do not release, keep it held down, just keep that power button held down, Keep it held down, keep that one held down, and any moment now we should see the recovery mode screen, and there we go. Okay, if your iPhone has a physical home button, okay, so iPhone 6s and older, you're going to press and hold the power and home button together until you see the Apple logo, then you're going to release the power button, but keep on holding the home button. If you have an iPhone 7, do those same steps, but instead of using the home button, you can use the volume down key. So press and hold, power and home button, three, well, let's go. So just keep this held down, keep this held down, do not release, do not release, do not release, just keep it held down, keep it held down, keep it held down, keep it held down. Now we see the Apple logo, so you're gonna release the power button and keep on holding the home button on iPhone 6s and older, and the volume down key on our iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. And now we're into recovery mode. So from here, what we need to do is we need to open up the Finder app if we have a Mac and iTunes if we have a computer. And you should see your device show up. Now, in my case, my computer has not shown up, uh, my iPhone even. So if that's happening, then you will just need to restart your computer. So I'm going to restart my computer because uh, iTunes has glitched out. So I'm actually going to speed this part up, so you see this is 100% legit. Okay, I've restarted my computer. So let's reopen the iTunes app or Finder, and we should see our iPhone. So let's click on it. And if you get this error, just click on OK. So what we need to do here is we just need to click on the Restore iPhone option. So what this is going to do is it's going to make your iPhone how it was when you first got the device. So what that means is you will lose all of the data in the iPhone, okay? If you did create a backup in iTunes of the past, you can restore that backup. If you created a iCloud backup, you can also restore that. And after you do restore the backup, it won't use your old passcode, okay? If you did not create a backup, then you just want to keep on trying the passcode. And if you do not know your passcode, unfortunately, all of the data on your device will be lost. Now, Apple has anti-theft protection, so if you signed in to your Apple ID account in the past, then it will ask for that information after you click on Restore here. If you do not remember your Apple ID password, then I would personally not recommend doing a factory data reset. Uh, the reason why is because you will not be able to use your iPhone, okay? So just click on Restore here, and you'll see this message. Just click on Restore and Update, and then you'll see next agree and wait for this to finish so now it's going to download the software update once the software update is downloaded your iphone is going to factory reset 
because this is a free gigabyte download, I'm going to end the video here, but you'll be brought to the hello screen and you can set up your iPhone like it was brand new and the passcode will be removed like so. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.